guys, so we're at the end spot of the meet. Fun fact, fast forward, we got lost. So uh, the footage is gonna be definitely interesting, but a positive to getting lost is the fact that we got to see a lot of other groups as opposed to just ours. And then we got to swap camera views because hey, while you're lost, you might as well get out of the car and switch the way you have your cameras mounted. So hopefully I can play around with that. I'm parked now, as you can see, and it's a jink job, so please don't talk crap. But I'm gonna, like I did last year, I'm gonna walk through and just kind of try to focus my best on cars. I might signal a few out that stand out, of course. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. So first and foremost, I gotta show love to Dynica over here, which uh, is an honorary KDM owner. Um, they actually still have uh, Jenny um, along with this, but of course they were one of the cool group leaders that you got to see footage of so again super cool car nice to see this a few times then we have the Optima representations over here including the year model that unfortunately didn't get a lot of support as we were told by the owner um, I thought that they were similar to the generation right next to it but he informed me that I am incorrect that these ones as you can see have a lot more support and speaking of look at this so we focused on this earlier, uh, you'll see that in behind the scenes, but now that we're here, check this out. RGB, how sick is that? Super unique, also of course focusing on how low it is. Doing my best to get good shots. We got Jenny representation over here. Again, it's a little windy, so forgive the wind noise. And then over here, this is actually pretty neat. If I'm not mistaken, it's his and hers. Um, this, I'll go ahead and uh, put her IG down below, but so she was here last year with the only um, Elantra GT hatch. Um, it was the model before they renamed it the N-Line. And so she is now in the new Elantra N. And then he traded in and got the Veloster N. And uh, fully sponsored, I believe both are actually, uh, just really cool builds. Go check them out because she's doing big things. But let's not go too far. The uh, standout of the drive was the EV6 by Kia. This was pretty cool to see on the road. Again, didn't expect seeing an electric vehicle, but you know, it just shows the change of times and just the overall scene of the, uh, the change of the automotive scene. Now this I focused on earlier, uh, an older generation Sonata. Love the purple. I'm a huge purple fan. So I'm just gonna focus in on there. Hopefully the owners don't get mad that I'm putting them on the spot. A Jenny over here. And then we're following with the ends. We got the Kona N, the only one here. Wish I would have seen a Kona N line as well, but whatever, at least we got the full N in the beautiful red. Another Veloster N. This is the updated model, as you can tell by the seats. And of course, this has the nice carbon fiber hood, Velocitech uh, in inlet for the uh, intake, and the Adro carbon fiber lip. Really a standout, and you can see they also have a custom carbon fiber, they got a carbon fiber steering wheel going in there. So here, I'm just gonna try to show that off, along with the seats. And then second gen, Veloster right next to it, with the really cool replacement and oil cooler replacement of the uh, front crash bar this one was here last year as well this is one of the last ones that I focus on nice to see them back at it we got second gen Veloster here with a roll cage so we're gonna actually demonstrate that just trying to give you guys ideas and then there's another one super low carbon fiber hood carbon fiber lip just looking all sorts of nice and clean. Loving the NK wheels. Ooh. Gotta show some love to these two that stood out. Cruising by design. Uh, obviously did a phenomenal job with this green. And then we have this, which is a little chaotic, but it does say chaos in the universe. So, you know, it goes with the theme. It's always cool to see people just do their own thing and just kind of not try to follow the norm and I can definitely appreciate that. Can't go too far without showing some love to my San Diego peeps. This is hers and hers. <laughs> um, so they're both uh, second gen Veloster Turbos. 
Love the fact that they're actually done differently. They're both black, but one's obviously completely matte black on purple wheels. Named Gunther. We have the Mishimoto front mount intercooler. And then this is gloss black with, of course, the different vented hood in matte black. I'm gonna go through this squad quick because this is all the Fortes and there are plenty of them. This is the one we focused on earlier and behind the scenes with the purple. And we just got huge Kia representation with the Fortes. All generations, including the newest, which is really cool to see. This one on bags. All the way to the leader of our group, which was uh, my boy Benji over here. All right, gotta show some love always to the unique ones. So we have a group leader that is in the older model Elantra. Uh, even rarer to see, but look how clean this is. You, you love to see it, guys. Look at those wheels, so clean. The fitment, Motegi. Love the fact that it's lowered. Just a clean build. Again, like I said, the Kia representation, well, the Fortes in general, came out strong. Um, one more perfect example, uniqueness, the uh, prior generation Elantra, and of course, this gorgeous green to purple color shift wrap. I'm gonna say it's a wrap. I don't believe it's paint, but. And you know, this is crazy, but maybe because again, for those of you that know, California has a lot of strict things going on. I'm starting to see less and less Insta tags. So um, I'm gonna try to do my best to find some of these, but if you see this video and I didn't tag you, I'm very sorry I didn't do it on purpose. Please comment down below. So we got this lone corner over here with some standout Jennies. Um, this is of course the four cylinder turbo and then we have this other one that's just super slammed. And it just keeps going. Awesome examples of what could be done with the platform uh, when you got a little money and imagination, of course, because cars ain't cheap. All right, so obviously showing some representation for the Sonata gang and then, oh, there we go, Sonata Society. So Lady Driven 1.6 Limited T, um, as you guys know, coming from a 1.6 platform with the Veloster, sky's the limit. So these things definitely have potential. We keep it moving to the Jenny. Probably one of the only ones here for the like more luxury ones. You know, you see tons of Jenny Coupes. We got uh, Mr. Panther over here with the infamous cover uh, flyer for the KDM Cruise. Now with a forged carbon uh, bump, bumper, hood. Let's show some love. White Panther Sonata. He did the same for the trunk. And of course, we got a little bit of murdered out going on. All kinds of black with white pinstripe accents. This is the night edition. So this is why the wheels are different along with the uh, actual red painted calipers. Guys, clearly I'm seeing double because there's another red Kona N. And funny enough, right next to it, another blue Velocity N. It almost feels like the other side switched sides and came over here, but yeah. SoCal Jen's representing and there's a ton of Jennies on the other side right behind them um, This time I didn't see as like well, this was pretty wild. I won't lie But I didn't see that many wild builds uh, for the Gen crew So not sure if they uh, you know had other plans or didn't want to be out in the heat But still nice to see Jen's out there Speaking of Jen's we're going to the luxury side of Genesis with the GV70 SUV, which is super gorgeous just you know I'm just simping for it. And then of course, uh, the G70, right? G70? Finally going down the line, we're gonna go left and right. While we do have the standout, while we do have the standout Elantra, Veloster Lane. Veloster so that I can see. And with the exception of a few cars to my right, more Velocers. We got Missy Kitty's infamous, Insta famous, Veloster. I'm glad she was able to make it out to one of these. More first gen love. Turtle VT back at it again this year. And some second gen love. Down to finish it off with the uh, matte green first gen Veloster over here. Right next to the only 
iteration of the Elantra GT. This might actually be an N-Line uh, because again, they did that rename. They went from GT hatch to N-Line uh, to basically line up with the i30, the models in Europe. So I wanna try to show some love to as many cars as I can. So these ones were solo. We have this uh, first luxury generation of the Genesis. So this was the, uh, the larger one, not the coupe. And this is done VIP, as you can see. You got junction produce, recliners, just all leather, just looking like a VIP car should, sitting on chrome, and I'm gonna assume it's bagged. Gotcha, you looked, I did. This is such a gorgeous car. And honestly, it's cool to see something different, VIP from the KDM scene. And we'll show some final love to this lone Veloster over here. So, had to come back, you know, we had to show some love to my boy Kevlar over here with his Batman themed Jenny Coop. And of course, more Genesis goodness with this luxury model. Again, these were the two Genesis that they offered back in the day. Um, they were still under the Hyundai badge. You had the Coupe, which was a sporty one. And then you had the sedan, which was basically the luxury version of it. Hyundai Genesis. And then of course, after that, they evolved into its own luxury brand, Genesis. Oh, I gotta show some love to the only Tiburon we saw here today. But it's nice to see that this is where KDM started. The only one. I know we saw some gens on the other side, but we're gonna focus on this side as well. Like I said, there was a good representation for the Genesis Coupe. This, like that blue one on the other side, one of the wilder uh, options. Wait till you see the back though. Look at this. Already in the, uh, the mood for Halloween. Loving it. I said I would get it, and we're getting it. We found him, the man. Dark Rise, this year, not in the K5, I'm not the Optima, but in the Stinger. Look at that. Talk about the poster child of the KDM scene, right? The Stinger.